Hey guys, it's your average Joe Numajo here. Welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing? Today I have a Fortnite Save the World commentary for you guys because recently all I've really been doing has been uh, some BR videos with my DJF and friends and that's really all I've been putting out on the YouTube channel uh, and those videos are pretty easy to make and you know after every 10 of them I'm gonna do a funny moments video uh, which are gonna be really awesome whenever I release my first one because we've had a lot of good moments and actually my next Fortnite BR video is gonna be really freaking awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little sneak peek of that really quick before we get into today's video. Oh, shit. Let's get it! Let's get it! Yo! Oh my god! So I hope you guys are excited for that video, but without further ado, let's jump into the Save the World 3.5 update. So the gameplay you guys are seeing in the background, or the video you guys are seeing in the background, is the developer update straight from the Fortnite devs on their YouTube channel. The link to that will be in the description. And we're also going to be talking about a Reddit post that the Fortnite devs made, and uh, I'll put that in the description as well if you guys want to check that out. But let's go ahead and go over what they talk about in this video. So in this video, they basically talk about how they're going to be adding some new weapons new characters and these characters are not going to be reskins they're going to have whole new abilities and everything like that so that's going to be really cool and they're also adding an arid map this is basically going to be like some desert kind of map which i'd imagine if you had an industrial zone a city zone and just a normal looking area all in the desert theme you know for the biome that would look pretty freaking sick they also talked about how in the future they're hoping to get weapon re-rolling out into the game personally that's an awesome idea because some of my schematics you know i like like the weapon but I don't like the roles that I have with it I have a golden you know a legendary desert eagle I forget what the name of that version of the gun is called but it's a golden desert eagle and it's got some pretty bad rolls on it so hopefully in the future I'll be able to re-roll it to get the one that I want so that's really cool they also talked about uh, player reporting being able to report people will be easier and better in the future they just got to get an update out for that and that they're really working on that currently and uh, right now actually they're gonna be putting out an impulse grenade patch for the save the world so if you guys have ever used impulse grenades in save the world you would know that it does absolutely nothing other than launch you around just like in br if you throw it at a husk they barely move well now if you throw it at a husk they are going to go flying across the map and now if you throw it at a teammate they're not going to move at all because of griefing issues uh which is pretty pretty freaking sad so yeah that's basically all they had to talk about in the video so let's go and take a look at the reddit roadmap so what they said is that we're back with another roadmap update and ever since then we dropped a slew of quality of life changes in the three husketeers quest line and the 3.4 update and they say note the spring and on quest line will be ending on wednesday april 11th at 8 p.m so if you guys want to get anything from the event store with your spring and on gold make sure you go ahead and buy it as soon as possible or else you won't be able to buy it uh, because this whole new event is going to be coming so in the week of april the 9th into the storm event will begin and part one of the quest line will be made available and during this week we'll also get the arid biome a new survive the storm map new heroes with new abilities new weapons more quality of life improvements and a whole outlander rework so that's going to be really cool uh, in week of the april 16th we're going to be getting new weapons in the event store and into the storm part two but they say you also must complete part one of the quest to unlock part two which is well that's pretty self-explanatory and for the patch 3.6 which would be on the week of the 23rd of april they're going to have new utility items which i'm pretty sure are going to be gadgets and more in the next roadmap update so that's where they're really leaving off right now so uh, whenever april 23rd comes around they're going to be adding a new utility item and they're going to be giving us updates as we go on from there so there's a lot of stuff to digest with this new save the world update there's a lot of things that i feel like should be added like an official trading system but that's just me i'll be making a whole video talking about all the stuff that needs to be added into fortnite save the world but um yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video that's all that's going to be coming in the new update so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below and let me know if you guys are going to be excited for that fortnite br video but yeah guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you all next time oh by the way make sure to leave in the comments what kind of content you guys want to see in the future because I am totally down for that. I'm kind of 100% focused on Fortnite right now, but I think every single Monday I'm going to be uploading some Minecraft because 
I don't want to abandon that series. I'm having a lot of fun on Minecraft Bedrock, and I hope you guys do enjoy that series as well. But yeah, guys, I will talk to you all next time.